Welcome to Mosh Pit Beta. I'm Congressional Wombat, and this is an OU battle against Pell of the Tundra. Uh, it's a picture-in-picture -picture battle, obviously. I tend to do picture-in-picture -picture battles, uh, but that's not the only kind of battle that I do. I also do traditional not face battles. So if you hate picture-in-picture, -picture, sorry. Let's start the battle, I guess. Okay. So looking at his team, the main threat that I see is the Breloom. He has the Caracosta, which is a little weird because this is OU. He also has the Uxie. I'm not sure what he's going to lead off with. I was thinking probably the Uxie, but he really could lead off with a lot of things there. So I'm just going to lead off with my Garchomp because my Garchomp is a wall chomp. I can set up my rocks. I just thought it was an okay thing. But he leads off with the Breloom. And that freaks me out because I feel like I have to hit it, but I only have Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Outrage, and Stealth Rock. Uh, and I go for the first turn Outrage, which is really dumb, I know, but I just... I did it! And he brings in the Caracosta, and that also just like... Because <gasps> I think he's gonna like Ice Beam or something, but he just sets up the rocks, and luckily I get a two turn Outrage, so... That was pretty lucky. I shouldn't be that stupid, though. Uh, I take the Toxic... I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting either like an Ice Beam or a Scald, uh, and that's clearly not what happened, so... Uh, now he's gonna protect to see what I'm gonna do. I went for the will because even if I hit the Caracosta, it's gonna be a good thing. Uh, he doesn't have anything except for the Infernape that can take the will wisp and Infernape does not want to come in on my Rotom Wash. Uh, but now I predict that switch, so I go for the Volt Switch. I thought that the Infernape was a potential switch in at that point because I knew that he was probably gonna predict the will wisp but I didn't feel comfortable going for the hydro pump. I thought it was best to sort of get that momentum with the volt switch and that's what I did but I crit him. I crit him. I go into my Jellicent now because I can take pretty much whatever. I really don't know how much the crit on Infernape mattered in the long run because I had my Jellicent which can take it on really well. Uh, but I don't know. I also crit the Uxie, which is cool, but I'm gonna go into my Heatran now, not knowing what he's gonna do. I thought that maybe he would, like, set up the screens or something, but he went for the Toxic, so that's pretty cool. I go for the Overheat because I'm Specs, and I just think that's so cool. That's, like, my favorite kind of Heatran. That's, like, definitely the most fun kind of Heatran, because you can just, like, slam things in the face with overheat is just really cool. Uh, but he's gonna go for the Stone Edge, predicting my Rotom switch in, which is pretty obvious. Uh, the Earthquake was too obvious, but I went for it anyway, uh, and I pay for it. He doesn't miss his Stone Edge. I was going for the Pain Split, hoping maybe he'll, like, miss his Stone Edge, but he didn't, so... That didn't work out for me, so Rotom is dead. I'm gonna go into my Garchomp because I know he's choiced in some way because I don't see an item, and Wallchomp can take Stone Edge's four days. So, go back into my Heatran. I still don't know this thing's set entirely. He goes for the rest, which is like, oh, this is gonna be annoying, because he can... He also has the Chesto Berry, so I'm like, okay, at least he can't do that again. At least he used up his Chesto, and I just hit him with another overheat. But he has the Recycle, so he's this weird Recycle, Resto, Chesto, Uxie, with U-Turn, Toxic, Rest, and Recycle. So I know that Caesar is not threatened at all by this thing. Uh, but he, go he goes to his Caracosta, and I switch into my Virizion, because I know that he's going to protect protect because I know that he is gonna protect to see what I lock myself into and right now it's just weird double protects going on. I wasn't expecting him to protect there. I was expecting him to like either switch or like try to hit me with something but no. So now I know that he's gonna switch. I have to go for the sword stance. I'm just like let's hit something. Uh, I was afraid he might be scarfed, but he's not, so he might be banded? I don't know. Uh, I wasn't sure if my close combat would kill either, but it did, which is a big relief, because I didn't want that Garchomp walking around all over my team. Uh, he's gonna go into Infernape now. Not a threat, because I have my Jellicent, so I go into that. He's gonna miss his Fire Blast. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much. I'm very sympathetic to hacks, but it really didn't matter that much because it doesn't do anything. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna kill him off with the Scald, so... Infernape was not very useful at that point. But now, he's gonna bring in his Breloom, and 
I am going to stay in. Even though he has the bullet seed, I'm just gonna stay in. He might over he might over predict or he might try to spore me. Uh, but I didn't care about Jellicent at that point because Infernape was gone and I just wanted to come in, hit him with something that's faster. I decided I'm gonna sack Verizion because I know that I'm probably not gonna kill him, uh, but I think it's very important that I get that damage on him. And he kills himself with Life Orb Recoil, so overall that play was worth it in my mind because now I have Garchomp and Heatran which are both necessary to kill the Karakosta, the Jirachi and the Yuxi that he has. So he's gonna switch into Jirachi but switch out into Karakosta. I'm just gonna go for the Overheat. I know that he would probably switch into that but I didn't want to go for the Earth Power or the Empire Grass because that would have done nothing to Yuxi. And I don't know, I just... whatever. I go into Caesar now. I don't know if I was predicting the protect or what, but I don't know. That's what I do. And he protect he protects again. I keep saying protect. Sorry. Bleh. But I'm just gonna go for the superpower now. I know that he's gonna go into Yuxi, but I legitimately thought at this point he can he wouldn't be able to survive a superpower. But I get the crit and I did the calc. He was at like 104 HP at that point after rocks, and I did the calc and Assuming that I would have gotten max damage, which I probably wouldn't have, but assuming that I did, I, he would have been left with, with 1 HP. So that's really interesting. So the crit did matter, but ultimately he wouldn't have been able to really do anything to me with the UC, so it would have just resulted in a lot of stall. I don't know how much it affected the battle, but it was really cool that I got the crit. Uh, now he's just gonna keep on iron heading my Heatran. I stay in because I don't want anything else to take an iron head. I only have Garchomp left, I think. Uh, and it's much better that I just stay in because at this point I'm slower than everything that he has. It's just not worth it to switch out, so I die. Flinch to death. Uh, gonna go into my Garchomp now and I'm just gonna earthquake everything. So he switches. I'm not sure why he switches. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't know, there was really no point in the switch, I guess, except to take more stealth rock damage, because he wasn't locked in anything, but I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake now on the Jirachi. I didn't think it would kill because I'm Wall Chomp, uh, but with my Rocky Helmet and my Rough Skin, that will take him out. So that was a good game. Pell of the Tundra. Uh, check out his channel if you want. He posts battles. Um, I post battles. Check out my channel if you want to. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this battle. Hopefully you don't think I'm a jerk or I annoyed you or something. If I did, sorry for wasting your time. Thank you for watching this battle. I really appreciate that. Uh, I am Congressional Wombat, and I will see you next time.